Hi. Okay, welcome to tutorial six. Uh, we started off on dimensionings in tutorial five, so uh, zoom, and we're going to dimension up to here. Okay. Um, we'll just get a jump right in. We'll just go into DIM. Uh, gets us into uh, the dimensioning part of AutoCAD. Okay, we were going to do a horizontal dimension so H um, or for horizontal okay it's asking us for the first point so we're just going to pick on the end of that line uh, second point okay we're going to pick the end of that line now it's asking us for the line location well we're going to go this direction we're just going to go 24 inches okay so enter and it's telling us uh, enter dimension 251 well okay we'll do it and it doesn't look very good okay so we need to set up some dimensionings um, I'm gonna escape out no actually I'm gonna go DD <coughs> I am dialog box for dimensioning and here we go Okay, well, we're in a standard come in the box dimension. Um, we're going to set up a new one. Okay, uh, so we can copy standard, that's fine. Um, we'll just call it, what are we going to call it? Let's just call it uh, 48. Okay, don't ask me why. Okay, so continue. And, okay, so our lines, color by block. Um, okay, well, we're going to go like everything else, we're going to go by layer. Okay, and line type by block, well, by layer. Line weight, again, by layer. Okay, so baseline spacing. Um, so I went up 24 inches between each of my um, baselines, and so we'll do that. Okay, instead of 3 eighths of an inch, we'll go 24 inches. Okay, suppress uh, dimension line one, dimension line two. Um, we're going to suppress neither of them. Okay, we want both. Um, you can see where my where my uh, pointer is. Okay, these are what they're talking about here, and uh, we want them both in. Okay, so extension lines again by layer. Um, okay, everything here is by layer, and then. Uh, we'll have to set up um, a layer for our dimensions. Uh, we don't want to expend. We don't want to uh, suppress any of those. Okay, so extension beyond dim lines, uh, three sixteenths of an inch. Well, you can see it here. Um, that's not very much. Let's go um, two inches. Offset from original. Um, okay, again. Let's go two inches. Okay. Um, okay. Symbols and arrows. Okay, we can use arrows. Um, typically, architectural tick. Okay. Uh, leader will have an arrow. So anything that points will have an arrow to it. Arrow size. Um, let's go something like six inches. Okay. Uh, center marks. Nope. Uh, dimension break. Break size. Nope. Um, okay, we'll leave all of this. Okay, until we figure out what it is. Textile. Well, we haven't set up a textile yet, so we're just going to use the standard textile. Okay, color, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. fraction, height, scale, text height. Okay, 3 16 Well, let's do something like 6 inches high. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing is I'm setting everything up to the way that we're drawing. Okay, our, our building is 20 some odd feet, and so my text height 6 inches should, should work in quite well. Okay, text placement, centered, centered, that's good. Um, what are the other things? We can go above. Um, okay. Well, let's leave it at centered and we'll change it after. Okay, view direction left to right, offset from dim line let's do let's do this at two inches as well okay uh, align with dimension line horizontal text alignment okay we'll leave all of that uh, fit ok 
Okay, we'll leave all of that. Primary units, well, this is where we're getting screwed up here. We want architectural, precision 8 uh, sixteenth, uh, fraction format horizontal is good enough, round off scale factor. For now, we're just going to leave it at 1. Uh, zero suppression, we'll leave it for now. Okay, angular dimensions, we'll leave them as decimals, the same way we did in... Um, uh, when we set up our units. Okay, alternative units, right now we don't need them. You can see how our our example here uh, in this picture uh, showing more what we like. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing an arrow there, but we can set it up later. Okay, and tolerances, we're just going to leave them. Okay, so click OK. Okay, and set current. Okay, close. Okay, so we're in the we're just gonna up up update. Okay, enter, select the one to do it. Well, that one right there. Okay, so those are all of the things that we set up um, and that we can change now that we're uh, seeing what we've done here. Okay, so we've set this two inches beyond, uh, two inches space in here. Okay, I'm thinking all of this stuff looks pretty big. I think I'm going to go back and change it to about four inches. Okay, so um, DDIM. Okay, and modify because we're already in 48. Okay, my text, I have it set at six. I think I'm going to go back down to four. Um, and symbols and arrows, these guys here, I'm going to set them up at about four. Okay. Um, dimension break. Okay, you see how the dimensions are uh, cutting into our line? Okay, I'm going to change that. Um, okay, so that's how they fit. Okay, um, actually, okay, so on vertical, centered. Okay, I'm going to go above. Okay, horizontal, I'm going to go over extension line 1. Hmm. This is different. Okay, I don't want to do centered. Let's go outside, see what difference that makes. Horizontal. Hmm. Okay, well... I don't like that one, but uh, view from left to right. Okay, close. Okay, so I don't know why this came up over top. Let's. I'm just going to press spacebar. Um, now that gets us into update. Well, let's try it. Update. Try this one. No. Okay. So D D I M. Okay, somehow I got to get these. Okay, modify. Um, vertical outside at extension line two. Well, that's not right. Over extension line one, over extension. Okay, so centered. Okay, let's try that. Okay, well, for some reason that worked. Okay, um, textiles. I don't know if we want to get into it at this point. Um, we'll just leave it for now. Okay, so that's that's a dimension. Um, you can do all sorts of things. Um, if I get out of dimension, I press escape and I'm out of dimension, and I stretch. Okay, and I take this and I go anywhere, anywhere on the screen. And I just show AutoCAD the direction, and I just go another 24. Enter. Okay, um, I'm going to put another line in here. Um, there's a number of ways of doing this. You can use O tracking. Um, I know that O tracking is on, um, but I can also just draw a line from this wall to this wall. And another one, these would be construction lines. Zoom. Okay, which I'll get rid of afterwards. And then I can DIM. 
okay and I can horizontal again okay I can start at this point I can go up 24 enter okay oops okay let's try it again horizontal from this line to the center of this line and then up 24 enter uh, enter okay I can do continued so I just want to continue from this dimension C O N T for continued okay so you can see it's taking me from that one to that one enter now I'm just going to press enter to get back into my last command which was continued and I'm going to click on the end of the wall okay so uh, that's all well and fine except these are kind of ugly dimensions for someone to build to you know four foot six and a half so if I stretch s and I just select everything in there including the dimension okay and I click I can click anywhere and I can show out okay which direction and I can say I want to go a half an inch so 0.5 of an inch of a unit enter okay so now those are our nicer dimensions to work with I can erase okay now if I go from left to right I am only going to get the things that I encompass okay whoops I don't want that one so I'm going to press shift and select it now it's out of my selection set and I'm going to press enter okay so now that I'm out of the dim command when I select these dimensions <clears throat> they are selected as uh, objects just like lines I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to bring it up to there click on this bring it up to there okay and zoom in and there I go okay now we're, we're kind of that doesn't look like two feet to me so line from let's take here to here okay offset uh, 24 this one to this one this one to this one okay so that one turned out right these guys are not on a 24 inch so let's stretch okay select all of these dimensions okay from the node of that one to the end of that and everything stretches nicely I'm going to erase okay I'm gonna get into layers takes a long time there it is okay hmm it's really thinking about that there we go okay so I want a new layer okay I'm gonna call it dim and I like red okay where's fire engine red we could pick this one okay okay so we made that new layer um, remember all our dimensions are going to read all their information off of here okay so my line weights um, all sorts of stuff okay we can get out of here we can select all of these guys and put them on the dim layer there we go okay um, okay we could go around this whole drawing dimensioning let's do a window see what happens okay so I want to put a window whatever room this is this little room I'm gonna put a window in the middle of it so I'm just defining the middle I'm just gonna draw a line straight across I'm gonna offset um, 24 okay I'm gonna make this um, to offset 24 so that means that I have a uh, 48 inches in between there I am going to MP okay and click that click that click that now they're all on the same layer and I'm going to trim okay and I'm going to get rid of that and that okay that's pretty simple uh, we can draw a window block okay so uh, typically I have a line down the middle okay you can you know you can draw this window block any any way that you want um, you can offset um, instead of three inches four inches okay okay so now you're sticking out an inch from the wall 
and you can draw a line from there to there and there to there okay so that might be a good window block I like the center line because uh, eventually I'll turn that into a beam okay time to go uh, see you in tutorial 7 I guess thank you